Hi, my name is Liliana McGee, and I'm a rough and ready dog grooming, which my husband Paul and I started 10 years ago, November 21st. This is Ariana. She's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel who came from North Carolina, flew up by herself with a bunch of other dogs five years ago. We got her when she was eight weeks old and weighed four pounds. And she's been with us every single day. She's the official uh, mascot. She's on our Pals Balloons business card. She's also on our window. What we do here is primarily dogs. My husband's highly allergic to cats, but um, the dogs will come in and we clean their ears and we cut their nails and we give them a good, a good grooming and a good bath. And uh, the process is twofold in where we groom first and take off hair, and then we give them a bath, and then we go over the coat again. Uh, we offer walk-in nail service anytime that we're here. We usually put a bandana on the dogs when they're done. During the holidays, we put bows in the female dogs, and we have different themes for the year. Snap that in, and that just snaps over that like that. There you go. Nice. And that provides protection. And that provides protection from, yeah. from, from moles. So so the dog doesn't get nicked. get nicked. See see how she has this one on her head? So that that'll go over it and it won't it won't cut into it because the last thing we want to do is injure the dog. Our bathing system that we have actually massages the dog as it's it's bathing the dog. And we have assortments of shampoos, depending on the dog's needs. Uh, we have oatmeal. We have hypoallergenic shampoo, which absolutely has nothing in it. And we have shampoo for de-shedding dogs, short-haired dogs. And then we also have medicated shampoos. <laughs> we usually have a stand blower and a high-pressure blower on the dogs to dry them quickly. Uh, we don't put them in the crates to dry. Again, we just want to get the dog in and send them home as quickly as we can. Besides doing dog grooming, we also offer balloons. The balloon business is called PALS Balloons, which in a funny way is actually an acronym for my husband Paul, our dog Ariana, the Cavalier, and myself. We also have some retail merchandise, and the retail I try to buy locally made, also US made. Uh, most of our collars and leashes come from Ipswich. We also have some from Fairhaven, Mass. We have these wonderful chalkboards in the shape of dogs that come from Utah. We also have iron ornaments that come from Maine. One of the things that people like about Rough and Ready is that we make the appointment for the dog and we're pretty much on time. And when the dog's done, we send them home. We don't feel it's fair to keep them here any longer than we have to. They, you know, they want to be home. They don't want to be here. So usually they go home within the hour after they're done. So most dogs are here an hour to two at the most. Unless, you know, the customer sometimes has a quick errand to do, we might keep them a little bit longer. But, and we keep them in the crates because it can be dangerous for the pet if they're roaming around. Because things have been known to drop and our dog's the only dog that is allowed to roam around. 